Welcome to this episode of Red Cape Sports. What we're going to do today is go over my favorite binders. These are going to be binders that I actually love, I use, and I use them for building sets. So if you've been following us for a little while now, don't forget to smash the like button, comment and subscribe on every single one of our videos. If you do that, Bird will come back from fishing. You may have seen a long time ago, I did a couple episodes on protecting your sports cards and we also made our way around to the binder. Now at the time I had only experimented with old school binders. So that's with, you know, those old school pages, but I've come across something that I actually really love. So, so I've been building quite a few of the new Pokemon sets that will be the um, Sword and Shield, Darkness Ablaze, and now the Champion's Path. So first of all, why do I like these binders and do I recommend them? Absolutely. This is going to be basically the um, Ultra Pro binders and I'm gonna get into the reasons why I like them. Right off the gate, unlike the older books, they're bulky, they're a little too big. And then cards only come in from the top and then out from the top as well. They just kind of fall out if you're turning the pages and over time, they just get crushed. So why do I like these binders? They are a little bit more, I believe for about 20 to $30 Canadian, you can buy any one of these two binders here. Now the reason I do like binders is because when you're showing somebody a card, if you got to pack a lot of cards and see things laid out for you, Binders are a great option, but I always found that they're wrecking cards and that's something I don't like to do. Um, as you can see here, I've got tons of cards um, completed in this set. So right here, this is Pokemon. You could do this with a Prism set. You could just put individual cards. Maybe you have tons of um, LeBron James cards or you have tons of Ronald Acuna cards you could line them up in your book. You can feel that when you put the card in, it's a lot softer. There's like a leather type of cushioning. It's not just plastic and it's very firm. What I like to do personally is put every card at least in a penny sleeve or one of those thicker sleeves and then you put it into the binder. So um, there are two cards that are stacked on top of each other, but I still feel pretty confident um, in holding the um, condition of the card the way they're put in like this. And again, it's just an easy way to go through. I do also like that it closes pretty easily um, with this little strap. And then you could write um, on the front or the back. And it's pretty thin. Again, this is going to be an ultra pro book. I am obsessed with these. So again, I've got a couple of black ones. Um, this is going to be for myself a sword and shield set that I'm building. So it's got some rare cards on the back. And then this is going to be um, two black ones for my darkness of blaze sets. So as you can see, it's very easy because you have numbers from one to nine and then on the back. So this would be 18 cards. Um, if you just put one card, if you put two of them, obviously you're gonna have more like 36 cards per actual page. So as you can see here, we got a pretty rare card. We got a cool VMAX Charizard. And again, you could be doing this with all of your sports cards, specifically for building sets. I am obsessed with this. I'm gonna be picking up some more. They also have the thicker pro ones that I wanna try out. So when those come in the mail, uh, maybe I'll put a set together and show you as well. So I'm missing quite a few cards for this set. And then in the back, we've got more rare cards, but I do love it. It's it feels really nice compared to those old binders. Um, I know a lot of people, um, when I ask them and they tell me, hey, I've got all these old Pokemon cards. They've been sitting in my binder. They show me the binder and the binders collapse. The, the pages are ripped. Some of the cards are falling out, they're getting bent. And that's not gonna be much of an issue if you pick up a nice binder like these. So if you're looking to build a set or just to lay out your cards nice individually, I really do love these Ultra Pro books. Um, I feel like the cards are very well protected. 
Um, they're easy to look at and they do come in um, from the side. So they're not just coming in from um, the top, they are coming in from the side and then it's a good way to protect your cards. And they do a good job because on the left page, um, cards will come in this way and on the right side, they'll come in from the right side. So that's all we have for you. Um, let me know if you want us to go further and um, go over some other ideas for how to build sets. But so again, we do have some older episodes and there's some good methods in there. Um, but again, I really love this one for building sets. I think it works and it's just a nice genuine way to protect your cards and a good way to show other people your sets as well. So we also have a Facebook group at Red Cape Sports. If you do hit the link in the description below, um, we will approve you and you can start showing off your cards, showing off your sets and ask us some questions as well. So we will see you guys next episode. Maybe Bird will be back from his fishing. I have no idea.